Well, greetings once again, VAC fans. I have four machines here. And I've got more than that. But what's really important that I want to call your attention to isn't the machines. It's those little things sitting in front of the machines, otherwise typically referred to as turbo tools or turbo brushes. One thing that I have noticed, I don't really go for the, the turbo tools a whole lot, mainly because they slow down and stop on most of the services I try them on. But I've never really quantified all my turbo tools to try to figure out which ones work or continue to spin better than other ones. So how about we try that on a couple of different surfaces? And depending on how long this video gets, I've got more turbo tools than this. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through, say, these four and then say, ah, that's long enough, or if I can go and cram in maybe another four. So let's get started. Oh yeah, I think I really should mention that all of these machines and their respective tools have fully been refurbished, if they needed to be refurbished, lubricated, and all the bins are essentially empty of any appreciable dirt debris. So what you're going to see here is best case scenario and not worst case scenario. First up, a newer Hoover Wind Tunnel 2. So this turbo tool has been around a while. Let's take a closer look at it. It's pretty typical. There's a turbine in there. All right, let's give it a whirl and see what happens. So I do like that this hose is very long. That's nice. A lot of hoses are too short. But of course, this being a stretchy hose, the second you turn it on, you know, it, it's going to compress and you're going to have to fight with it a bit. But this is really long. So that's nice. That's a plus. <laughs> It just stops. So, that's a big fail. It stops. Okay, so we have our first failure. And it's really sad that a manufacturer is going to include, right, a tool that fundamentally doesn't really work. And again, everything is clean and fully refurbished. But uh, yeah, failure number one. Next up, this older Bissell Power Force. And it's yellow turbo brush and that's what it looks like that yellow turbine and brush really sticks out you see that from across the room okay let's see how well this one works That's a fairly long stretchy hose, not as long as a Hoover, but I'm going to hook it up to this guy here.
might fit. So obviously, this one is a real win. All right, on to the next one. Next up, the Red and Weird LG compressor. And here's the little turbo tool. So let's see what it does. This hose is kind of stretchy. off there and this clicks into there does a great job and it works even on medium pile carpet. Not bad. Nice design. And last in this round we have my old Walmart Shark, the NV22. And I got a full bag of tools with all kinds of little doodads and this is just one of them. All right, let's see how well it works. So this hose is really, really long and super stretchy. It's also nice and green and no, it won't come clean no matter what you do. <laughs> Unless you replace it, that is. But it certainly is long. Let's see, I can make that a little bit shorter. We'll put this in here. All right, let's see what it does. turbo tool, this very old machine with the terrible looking hose, still works on both low pile and medium pile surfaces. So that's really great. And just to show you that this Hoover has plenty of hose suction, I'll show you what it has. There used to be an old song on a TV show that I watched back in the 1960s called Sesame Street. And it had a it had a game in there, a visual game. And it was something like one of these things is not like the other and one of these things does not belong. So in this case, it's this. This turbo tool doesn't turbo tool. All the rest of them work just fine in their original machines. Incidentally, I've got another one of these 
in a different machine that you'll see in part two. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.